Once we've created an initial interface for our Tesseros, we have the options to make some modifications. Let's take a look at the new toolbar we have. For pages, we have the option to add a new page, delete a page, duplicate a page, copy, paste, or raise and lower page order. For control, we have the ability to add buttons, add sliders, add color pickers, add labels, add keypads, or add a clock. We then can delete those objects, copy and paste them. We have an object to lock the move and resize ability of anything on our interface. We have distribution and alignment tools and spacing. To create a new page, we select New, and this will start our page wizard. So we can add a new page, such as Faders. Give it an icon, hit Next, select our background, hit Next, select a layout we like, hit Next again, and choose whether or not we should add this to our existing page switcher or create a new page switcher. If we add it to our existing page switcher, when we hit Finish, we'll notice that I now have a Faders icon inside of my page switcher on both of my pages. I can copy and paste pages, or I can duplicate pages. When you're duplicating, you have an option to either keep the control keys or not. We'll talk about control keys in a second. Once we've created a number of pages, notice that they don't necessarily all add to our page switcher. To edit our page switcher, we select it and come over here to our selection options for page switcher. At the top, you'll find a number for the page switcher, its name, and its layout options. If we click Edit Pages, we can see all of our available pages and all of our used pages. We can simply drag from one to the other to update our page switcher. Notice as I drop these on here, my page switcher automatically updates. When you're done, close this window. We could then select our page switcher again and change the alignment. For instance, if we wanted to group them all to the start or put them back to spread. You have some configuration options for the page switcher below that. You have the option to show page names, change their font size, their text color, highlight color, and highlight opacity. You can change the background either using a gradient or a fixed color using edit, or you can set your opacity. Underneath that, you have the options to add a clock. You can choose whether to display just the clock or also a date, or just the date. Once you've chosen which objects you would like to add to the page switcher, you can configure their formats for both time and date. You can set their font size and their clock position, either start or end of the page switcher.